Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. Marvel Snap's latest card is Toxin. This is the card that I really had my eyes set on for the season, it's probably as being the strongest card released outside of that season pass card being Agent Venom, which has been exceptionally strong as well. Yeah, this was the card and it is obviously going to slot into bounce style decks. And I think as time goes on, maybe we'll find some other places for it, but definitely designed for a home inside of bounce. I believe most of us kind of thinking we'll drop the Falcon and put him in, that's what I did. I actually just played the deck that took me all the way to infinite this season, played it with an 82% win rate. Card did fine. It just, it did really well. Now you definitely don't have to have it to play bounce. Bounce has been around plenty long and there are actually some kind of downsides to playing this card over Falcon, but let's jump into the list real quick. Talk about that and Toxin and we'll jump into the gameplay highlights as always. Those that have been around the channel for a little while, y'all know that I played bounce to infinite this season, cruised right along. Balance is exceptionally strong, can put out a ton of stats, especially now that we have the Agent Venom to buff those cards in your deck even more. This is that exact same deck. The only change here is that we have the Toxin in place of Falcon. Now Toxin in a lot of ways is kind of a mixture hybrid of Sage and Beast. The more cards that you bounce back to your hand, the bigger Toxin is going to grow. It's getting two power for each card that you bounce. Most of the time, y'all, it's just going to be a 2-7. You're wanting to play Toxin into a full lane. Bounce those three cards back, you'll get the six power from that. Yeah, most of the time, a 2-7. And then, obviously, a bigger stat stick than, let's say, the Falcon. Now, that's not to say that running Toxin is ultimately better than running a Falcon. In fact, some may end up arguing that running the Falcon is actually better. There was a match where I played, you know, a mirror match against a bounce player. Savage Land appeared, put two Raptors into their lane that already had two guards, and they were dead in the water because they had done the same thing. They had swapped out the Falcon for the Toxin. No way to bounce those cards back to your hand. So if you have a situation where you get clogged, your opponent plays at Cosmo in a lane that you're wanting to bounce the cards back, you don't have the opportunity to play Falcon into a side lane to pull some of those cards back. The Beast and the Toxin have to be played on top of the cards that you want to bounce. So yes, there is some downside to actually running Toxin. And I guess we will see as time goes on, is it actually better to run the Toxin? So if you're on the fence about picking up Toxin or you're not really a bounce enjoyer, obviously the recommendation is always wait till the end of this, you know, end of the week, see what the stats say, see if it's worth your resources. Bounce has been around plenty long before Toxin. You don't need Toxin to play the list. And like I said, it may come down to say, hey, you know, uh, actually having Falcon might be a little bit better. Now the list itself is a typical bounce list. I actually think this is kind of the easiest bounce list to play. There's no werewolf that you're bouncing from lane to lane. We're also not running that whole Mysterio and Bishop package. And now those style decks actually put out way more points than I can, but right now, I have to have Shadow King. I have to have Shadow King in my bounce list. And I think if you're running a Shadow King in your bounce list, this is probably one of your better options as far as how to build it. And the reason for that is everyone right now is going to be playing bounce list. Shadow King absolutely destroys them if you don't have priority going into the final turn. But you have the very prevalent decks that are running the eight, you know, the Agent Venom that are hitting the Mystique and the Iron Man. Yeah, Shadow King destroys a ton of their points. They're thin of things like that. And then you have it for all kinds of other things. You're gonna run into destroy list. Shadow King's just really great to have right now. And if I'm gonna play a bounce list, if I know I'm gonna be seeing a lot of mirror matches, if I'm gonna be seeing a bunch of the Agent Venom decks, I just wanna have Shadow King. And I think this is the easiest bounce list you can play and also am able to fit in the Shadow King. Just doing a lot of work. Like I said, played the list all the way to infinite, played it again today, was up a bunch of cubes just in a short time. So yeah, this is the list. So definitely give it a try if you picked up Toxin. I think it's a good list, but uh, I don't think you have to have Toxin. I'm not sold yet. Time will obviously tell. So with all that out of the way, y'all, as always, y'all be good, y'all be safe. I will catch y'all on the next one. Do me that favor, you stuck around, click that like button, helps promote the channel and the video. If you're not subscribed, you know I would love to have you around and I will catch y'all in the next one. Oh my goodness. Are we playing Dexter? Let's see, is this, is this, is this collection level over, you know, 30 something thousand? <laughs> yeah, I would say it's, um, it's probably Dexter. We definitely don't want to be playing into the forge. I ain't got, I ain't got the room for that. So we'll play Black Swan to the right unless we get something better. No, not better. Nothing better.
Negative five hood, you know? I doubt that's gonna stay on the board. All right, so we can destroy here. Do this, we'll play the toxin. Feels kind of bad to be doing that, but uh, it's about the only option we got at the moment. Have some extra energy, we got some extra draws. Draws as in draws, not drawers like, you know, what I wear every day. We get the Shadow King. Opponent snapped. We get the Shadow King. So, I'm almost tempted to not even play next turn. One, we're getting three back. I'm sticking around. I'm sticking around. All right, so there's the sage. All right, so. I'm not doing anything this turn, I don't think. Right? I don't do anything this turn. I can play one, two, three, four, five, six. It sucks not to play this massive Sage out. But I can't have priority. I cannot have priority. Okay. Shadow King, do, do your work. My goodness. My goodness. Decisions. <laughs> Decisions. Um, we do this, and then whatever our biggest card is going to be, go somewhere else, right? We do this and this. I can actually play everything. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. He's got so many options. If we... If we Shadow King here... I feel like... A six will be the biggest number, right? So, I think this wins. Because we're Shadow Kinging here, I don't think they, they, well. What's going on here? Uh, what's going on here? Well, we won the medal, for sure. Oof. Are we gonna beat that? I don't think we're gonna beat that. Wait! Oh, we definitely got it. We definitely. Ho 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 ho! Oh! 
Shadow King, baby. <laughs> Battle of the Sages. It, it, it took me a second to get there, but I had to be like, okay, I don't have priority if I play Shadow King in the middle. Unless they played that demon in the middle, we we're going to win. Nothing was going to be bigger than six power there. Whew. Close one. My goodness. Uh, so many. The thing about bounce is, I would say like 50% of your games comes down to if I put my cards here, I win. If they put their cards there, they win. It just kind of feels like a 50-50 shootout, you know? Whatever. <laughs> uh, Carmitage, good. Shadow King, good. We could even do like a Shadow King Sage on the final turn if they're getting kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah. I don't think anyone stays till the final turn. Okay. Oh, okay. What the heck was that? I mean, I guess I could toxin this, right? But I don't think that's what I want to do. I think I want to do this. All right, so we definitely just Shadow King over here. We like Shadow King Sage. Activate. We shouldn't have priority. So that works a lot differently than I thought it did. Okay. Um... Yeah, so we're not getting any other cards. It's good. So what we can do here, we can Shadow King. These all go down to like nothing. Do this. Or I mean, I guess I could do this, this and this. This is gonna win. Yeah. Yeah, so Shadow King just obliterating them here. The no the no priority in the Shadow King. There's too many decks right now to not be running Shadow King. You've got the AV decks that are running, you know, the Iron Man, Mystique and all that. You got bounce decks, you got these kind of things. So not the highest point output of a bounce list. You know, you're not running like the Mysterio and Bishop package. But I mean, heck, y'all just saw what Shadow King did. All right, none of our one drops. So we're definitely playing Agent Venom next turn. Barring, you know, Opponents Sokovia snapped. doesn't just destroy me right out the gate. All right, turn one snap. That's always great. Maybe they're a toxic player snapping on the sewer system.
Okay. So they might be sending me that over with the Viper, which odds are I'll have a way of bouncing it back. Yeah. Um, I don't want priority. So. We'll do this. Normally, I would have probably played it right here, but I don't want the priority, so we're going to just leave. Okay. So we blew up an Echo. We got a Hood. We got a Nico. What? What are they doing? Next turn, I can play both of these. Oh, okay. That is unfortunate. Well, if they send me over the hood, I'm not, uh... Might be doing it right now. I'm not, uh, gonna be bouncing it back. Okay. Well, we're gonna send the acid arrow back over. We'll do that. So we got a, a massive, massive. If I do this. I give myself two more arrows to play. If I don't play the Hawkeye, we just play black, you know, activate. We play this. I'll get to play all this barring something, right? I got a feeling I might be getting a black, <laughs> a black cat, a black widow this turn. So I'm, I'm actually just going to chill. I'm gonna wait. Uh -uh. No, that's not in our favor. Now, where where would they move the echo? Because I might be able to do something like this. We got eight cards. Kind of breaks even here. I'm all right with it. I look for him to move the echo out of the middle. Man, they didn't. I think I still beat this, but I don't know that I beat this. Oh, barely. Now I will lose a power here. Oh, man. We, I mean, we still competed in all three lanes. It was a 15 power hit monkey. I really thought they would move the echo. I was like, man, could I get Rocket Raccoon? It doesn't matter. It don't matter. Pretty close in uh, rank. All right, so we got a bounce player. As always, at this point, we are looking. We are looking for that Shadow King. Looking hard for it. Go ahead and get the Black Swan. Play it out on curve. Well, dang, our silver say ain't doing nothing to that. 
Okay. I need one of my bounce guards. I need one of my bounce guards. All right, so there's Toxin. We can Shadow King that. Man, I kind of like don't want to play anything. Do we do this in hopes that we hit Toxin or Beast next turn? I don't know what it feels like. They've got priority. I also have not triggered Ambaze. That's not good. This is an eight power Silver Sable. All right, about as good as it's gonna get on the Sage here. We can play all this next turn. Man, where are, I, I can't afford to play this, so. Mm. So do, we, I think we just, um... I feel like we just Shadow King here, we play here. Here, here, and now will this be enough? Probably not. Now I feel like they're gonna put some one big thing into the throne room. Maybe they play here. Maybe they think they're safe and they don't put a bunch of stuff here. That's why we're putting the biggest the biggest card here. Okay, so we are smoking that with the shadow. Oh man, we're not beating that. Yeah, if we had put the hit monkey in the middle, we would have won. <laughs> Ugh, unfortunate. <gasps> I forgot about Aunt May's moving. <laughs> I thought we I thought we had lost. Well, there you go. 